This use a plane is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, it's on power. This is a 7 a.m. Barbados Today update for Friday, May the 9th, 2014. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Good morning. The thousands of light and power company and lime customers in Barbados will be guaranteed automatic compensation for certain minimum standards of service provided by the two utility firms effective July the 1st. The two types of standards, guaranteed and overall, were issued this morning by the Fair Trading Commission and will terminate on March the 31st, 2017. For the Light and Power Company, the group of guaranteed standards to which automatic compensation applies will now include fault repair, customer service, voltage complaint and reconnection. A new billing period has been introduced which requires the energy firm to bill at minimum 95% of its customers for no more than 33 days of service on all issued bills. Regarding Lyme, automatic compensation has been extended to repeat loss of service and wrongful disconnection. Customers will also receive automatic compensation for breaches of fault repair. Renegotiate the process by which the 200 National Conservation Commission employees were recently retrenched or else. The National Union of Public Workers last night warned the NCC management that if after they meet this morning with their minister, Dr. Dennis Law, and he doesn't mandate them to reopen negotiations on the unsatisfactory way in which the retrenchment process was done, the union will boycott the proposed talks later this afternoon. Senior Industrial Relations Officer Wayne Waldron says the ball is in the minister's hands. When they meet with the minister and they call us and they are we think we come if you are say 3 p.m., 4 p.m., for example. They should be able to say, Lord, we have a mandate that we can negotiate and we, and we look at the position and do or we call the position. That's our mandate. Now, if they get a mandate that they based on what the minister dictated to them, they are not moving. Yeah, it will make sense to go there to start talking because they are saying that you are not negotiating, that you are not moving. Meanwhile, former Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Owen Arthur has taken the trade unions to task over their handling of the retrenchment of public workers. Arthur said the unions should be ashamed that they are now thinking about how best to advise the government on the easiest and least painful way to fire people. And there's no nice way by which you fire people. And I, I really sadly regret that the, the discussion has become how best can we find a nice way to fire people? Um, that really is not going to assuage the, the, the hardship phase nor the, the, the degree of suffering and that, and that the sooner we get back and come off this, how best can we assuage the pain and, and try to find ways as this is stable this country and start to save it by getting to grow again, the better. This is regional and international news after this short break. Because she deserves it. Make her Mother's Day. Send us a photo and a message telling the world why your mother is simply the best at love at barbadostoday.bb. Enter now for your chance to win lunch for two at the Crane Hotel and other prizes. The deadline is May 6. Mom deserves it. All entries will be published. In regional news, the recent assassination of senior attorney at law in Trinidad and Tobago, Dana Sitahal, now seemed to have business leaders running scared. President of the Law Association, Sinath Jairam, says she's been receiving telephone calls from businessmen in the country who are now in fear. And Jairam has issued an impassioned plea for government to work towards catching the murderers of the prominent lawyer who was laid to rest yesterday. 
The association president suggested that Cedar Hall's death will be a catalyst in more ways than one, adding that it shows how vulnerable they all are. Five bullets were pumped into the veteran lawyer's body last Sunday morning while she was driving home in a professional hit which $1 million was reportedly paid up front. Internationally now, Nigeria's president has vowed to find more than 200 schoolgirls abducted by Islamist militants and return them to their families. Speaking from the World Economic Forum in Abuja, which opened yesterday, good luck, Jonathan thanked the countries which had offered to help find the missing girls. Jonathan said he believed the country would be able to bring an end to terror in Nigeria. Terror will not stop the world from moving. Terror will not stop Africa from moving. Terror will not stop Nigeria from moving. And let me use this opportunity to thank your home government, uh, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, President of the United States of America, the President of France, of course the President, the Premier of China. These are countries that are willing, have shown commitment that they will come and help to solve the unique problems we have, the issue of terror, especially relating to this disappearance uh, of some young girls in a particular secondary school. That's been the 7 a.m. update. Join us again at noon. But until then, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your son.